Well, he wanted it, and he got it. I'm Rick Sunnerberg, and welcome to Sunnerberg Outdoors. It was after the new year, and we didn't have any snow, and a lot of people were getting excited. But since then, we got about 60 centimeters, or two feet. There's still not much ice. The big lakes only have three, four inches. It's not too bad here. Slush is boiling all over the place. Today's mission is to catch a pike, debone it, and cook it on the buddy heater. I made a video last year on the buddy heater cooking grate. You can check it right here. Let's do it. Doesn't want to bite it. Well, he bites it, but he doesn't want to eat it. He already spooked it. Not just to go to a live, we don't want to hook here. He's there yet. Here he goes. small side but I think we're going to debone them and we're going to have some uh, fried up pike on the buddy heater either fish tacos or maybe just fry fish I was going to debone that pike today and show it in the video as well but because of the weather and the lighting I thought it was best just to link you to this video right here it's my latest one on how to debone pike the one piece method it's by far in my opinion the best one out there so anyway, I'll clean that pike there now. We'll get the bones out and let's get cooking. Okay, we're ready to start cooking. We've got the standard uh, buddy heater with the buddy heater cooking grate, a six inch cast iron frying pan, all seasoned up. This buddy heater, the standard buddy heater puts out 9,000 BTUs where the big buddy puts out 18,000 BTUs. So it probably would do better, put a bigger pan on or whatever. We're gonna fire it up on high. I'm going to put some oil in it. This is the standard canola oil. I'm going to put some in it there to get her maybe, I don't know, quarter inch or so. Cover the bottom. And we'll let her warm up. I have a heat gun there so we can double check what we have for temperature. We have our deboned pike fillets. Again, it wasn't a really big pike. Normally I wouldn't keep them that small. In Ontario, in zone 10, that's what they want now. They only want you to keep one pike over 24 inches. So this is probably more of the size they want you to keep. I'm not going to uh, probably cook all this fish. I'm eating alone today, so we'll cut her up in some cubes and get seasoning it. It's been about five, six minutes. We'll check our oil temperature here and we'll see what uh, what we have. 210 degrees Fahrenheit. We should be able to get over 300. I have uh, the pike cut in cubes. One thing about uh, cooking on a buddy heater, you're not gonna do a fish fry for a million people. It's just a small thing, you know, reclaim some of that heat, cook for yourself, you know, warm hot dogs up or sausage. I cooked fish on it a few times. Last year I cooked it in the garage. I just wanted to do it on the ice and show how it worked. So we make it as simple as we can. So we'll take our pieces of pike, put them in a Ziploc bag. We'll take some Frank's Red Hot. And we'll put a little bit in the bag here just to, uh, to act as a binder so the batter will stick. Not lots, we'll try that. A 
It also adds a little bit of zing to it. Just a tad more. Smells pretty good. There you go. Now, if I was at home, I'd be making beer batter or cracker batter. Laura's double dipped, like I did in the video last year. But for today, we're going to do it as easy as possible. We're going to use roasted garlic fish crisp. I'm going to add some of this now to the, to the fish and the franks. Just enough to give it a nice uh, light coating. Pretty simple. Have a look. Looks pretty good. So now we'll just wait for our oil temperature uh, to come up to snuff. We're about uh, 10 minutes into it. I'll check the temperature again. Just about 300 Fahrenheit. We're getting pretty close. One thing I can't stress enough is the safety of all this here. I'm cooking inside a flip over by myself today. It's awful outside. I got no lines in here or nothing. You really have to watch it with the oil and any cooking in a hut or anything. If you have children or pets or people that had a few too many drinks, it's probably best to cook outside or cook in a big pop up or something. But today I'm taking it all easy. If you're worried about grease slopping under the grate or something there, you could put a, a layer of tin foil underneath the pan. But today I think we've got lots of room here, nobody around. And because the weather is not very nice, we're going to go this way. Okay, we got about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 330 is bouncing around, 340. Let's give her a go. Seems not too bad. I gave it to Buddy here. You know, you're limited to the heat. It's not like cooking on a stove. There's almost too much even for that. There, moving them around. Frying pretty good. Okay, I think uh, she's done. You can see it's starting to fall apart. I'll cut her back a bit. Today we're going to make pike tacos. So the first thing I'm going to do is warm up our tortilla shells a little bit. They're kind of cold. They were in the pack sack. We're going to make our tacos, they're pretty big here, when we fit one on a plate. First thing we're going to do, I chopped it up at home. I got a combination of some lettuce, green onion, and tomato, and a little bit of cucumber. Next, I'm going to put some fish in there. Pike, deboned. Split it up even, it's probably enough for two. Then, I'm going to put a little bit of salsa. This is going to be a mess, but whatever, I'm in the shack, it's all good. Then, the best stuff in the world, Laura's green tomato ketchup with onions and peppers and tomatoes and sweet and it's spicy. Perfect. Not too much, but it's pretty good. Something I really got on to lately is some Lighthouse, it's Dilly Dip. You can buy it at uh, Freshco in Ontario. And this stuff's good. It's dill, it's creamy, it's spicy a little bit. I really like it, especially on fish. So we'll give her a dip of that. Or you could use sour cream. And finally, shredded cheese.
pike taco cooked on the buddy heater. Doesn't get any better than that. Let's give her a shot here. It's gonna be messy. Not too bad. Fish is crispy. Talk was crispy. Everything else is good. Right on. Let's catch another fish, hopefully. Stop eating. Got a bite on the finicky fooler. He's taking line, he's taking line, he's taking line. There you go. That one would be over, over to 24. Nice little northern. Let him go. Well, that's it. I think we're going to start packing up. We caught two pike, nothing too serious. We did catch one, deboned it, and made some wraps on the buddy heater. I think that was really good. I can't stress the safety enough with the hot oil on an open flame, especially with children around. Conditions are going to change again. It's going to rain by the end of the week. Hopefully after that, it'll tighten up and be much better. As always, thanks for watching. That's a wrap. <laughs>